Hey y'all, it's your girl so dazzling here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I thank you for coming to check me out. But if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, I truly, truly, truly appreciate your loyalty. So today's video is actually going to be a review and my hair is already partially done because I didn't want this video to be too long. But I am currently using two products and two products only, well three if you want to count water, <laughs> to style my hair. So I'm using the moisturizer that just launched by dum 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 curl mix. So this is their pure avocado moisture hair growth moisturizer and it has organic hemp seed oil and it comes with a watermelon fragrance and on the bottle it shows you all of the ingredients and I will list those on the side and also it tells you that it is not um, have any formaldehyde, no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil, and no phthalate. And then something else that is nice, um, it also tells you the benefits of the product, which is really cool. And I'll list those as well. So Curlmix just launched these products, and if they still have them on their website, I'm not very sure. Um, <laughs> because I got them like right when I got the email saying that they were available I went online and I bought them but this is the avocado moisturizer and if you actually watch my first YouTube video you will see how bomb my braid out was using the homemade version of the pure avocado moisturizer so Chromix has moved away from doing a subscription box and has moved toward um, only selling pre-made products so I actually have um, two of the moisturizers that I bought one for me and one for my fiance but I'm gonna be using his too <laughs> as well as their um, pure flaxseed gels and I really love that these gels were made with pure flaxseed just as the name entails if you've used other flaxseed gels from other brands such as Eco Style or brands of that sort most of those use fact excuse me most of those use flaxseed oil not the gel that actually comes from flax seeds. and if you've never worked with flax seeds um, when you boil them in water they become gelatinous like the water becomes gelatinous and you can use that gel straight on your hair and it's super moisturizing and it just works wonders so that's basically what this is mixed with a whole bunch of other juices and berries <laughs> unfortunately I bought the um, trial size of the um, gel because I wasn't sure you know how it will work on my hair but and it doesn't have like the ingredients list on here but this is the one to moisturize your hair and it has organic jojoba oil with the lavender fragrance and i decided to pair the two because my hair dries out very easily and i wanted to make sure that i had a lot of moisture in my hair so um, if you go to their website or you know anything like that then they do say that you can layer the avocado moisture with the flaxseed gel so that's exactly what i'm doing here so first things first the consistency i'll show you the consistency of this in a moment but the smell of this is so good it smells like watermelon candy it doesn't really smell like watermelon fruit to me because if you eat watermelon candy you know that there is a subtle difference in the smell well not subtle there is a difference <laughs> between the way that watermelon candy smells versus actual watermelon so i do feel like this smells more like watermelon candy versus watermelon fruit but this Flaxseed gel smells so good. I love the scent of lavender oil. So this was perfect um, for me since it does contain um, lavender essential oil. So I just want to show y'all what my hair looks like so far. So I've already done three-fourths of my hair. And you can see how defined these sections of my hair are. So I'm going to do this last section here on camera with you guys. And... You can clearly tell the difference between this part that has product versus this part that has dried out and doesn't have product and my hair is clean I washed and deep conditioned my hair today and my hair dried out simply because you know I'm working on the other parts of my hair so that is why I have my water bottle here so that I can add some um, moisture back to my hair before using the products but you can already just see how bomb like my curls are looking and I am using the shingling method, which is taking me a while, which is why I didn't um, show this, you know, all of this part on camera because this doing this part alone took me like a good 45 minutes. So yeah, that would have been a long time to show on camera. So I've decided to just go ahead and finish this last section with you guys. 
So I am first going to just spritz my hair a little bit. And I don't want to use too much because the moisturizer does give, you know, a lot of slick. And um, it does saturate your hair very well. So you really don't need a lot of water to begin with. So this is the consistency of the moisturizer. And it is pretty watery. You can see how it just goes down my hand and one thing i do wish is that it was a little thicker and that's only because i like thick products however this product does work very well it's very moisturizing like you can just see how easy my fingers are gliding through it and i can just tell that it's definitely adding moisture to my hair so now that i have that worked in i'm going to go in with the flaxseed gel and the flaxseed gel is much thicker as you can see so we're just going to use that much because you really don't need a lot so i'm just going to layer that on making sure to go up i'm not putting it on my scalp but i am making sure that i get the roots of my hair so that all of my hair is well defined once i start shingling and basically to shingle your hair all you do is take a piece of your hair and I like to go um, twist my hair away from my face. So you just twist the hair around your finger. And then when you do that, you get a nice curl. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys again. So you take a piece of hair, twirl it around your finger. And you let it go. And I'm just going to actually fix the end of this one because it didn't come out as sleek as I wanted it to. So I'm going to just work on the end a little more. There we go. So yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue this process. So this is what this section looks like after I finished. And yes, I'm absolutely loving like loving my results right now and this side of my hair is actually pretty much already dry so that's really good knowing that it dries pretty fast but yes y'all like all right y'all so i am now finished with my hair and i'm just gonna scrunch this part up a little bit because as you can see like these part this part is a little longer um it doesn't get as curly um as a rest so i just want to scrunch it up a little bit and kind of just encourage it to curl up <laughs> yeah. so this side of my hair is actually fully dry so you can see how nice it looks let me wipe my hands off real quick you can see like how nice it looks when it dries like it looks so good and I just love the way that it makes my um, the color of my hair look and then this is when it's still kind of wet and you can tell the difference because obviously this side is shrunken and this side is still hanging low <laughs> so yeah once it dries though it should be about um, the same length and this is what it looks like in the back hair is nice and movable and I just I'm just so in love y'all like look at these coils back here like these things are so freaking defined i am in love with my hair it is giving my usual um hair gel avon forest money i'm actually going to link the video to one of the first hair gels that i use so you can see my results using that one and i may even pop a picture in this video so you can see a comparison of the two i'm not quite sure if i'm going to do that yet so if there's no picture i just decided not to put it in here <laughs> but yeah my hair looks amazing like look at this look at this little baby oh my gosh y'all i'm so hyped can you tell <laughs> all right so my final thoughts on these products so let's talk about the moisturizer first so i Honestly, I actually like the moisturizer that you got to make in the DIY box more than this one. And that's 
only 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 because that one was a little thicker than this formula however this formula is still really nice i love that it has a pump so it's like super easy for application purposes and the scent is really good it still has really great slit but because my hair is really thick my hair loves like um thicker products so that brings me to the hair gel which is pretty thick and i think that combining the two was the greatest idea that you know i could have greatest thing i could have done for myself <laughs> because my hair right now it has like a soft hold like my hair doesn't feel crunchy like you know sometimes when you use gel like eco style or other gel like that how it makes your hair have that crunchy feeling um this gel does not give my hair but the gel um combined with the moisturizer anyway does not give my hair like that super crunchy feeling so i really like the way that my hair feels um my hair smells good so overall i would give the moisturizer on a scale of one to ten ten being the best i would give it a probably a seven and a half eight and that is only because of the consistency of it if it was thicker it would be definitely be a 10 in my book but because it is so watery like you could hear it like because it is so watery and my hair likes thicker products i had to knock some points off of that the gel on the other hand this is like a nine and i definitely recommend the gel if you don't get anything else i would say get this gel and try it out for yourself and there's actually multiple formulations so they have some for moisturizing hair to repair our hair to help um, hair growth and all types of other um variation so i would definitely give that a try and i believe you can actually also get a sample pack too where you can try multiple fragrances out and multiple formulations out so if you're looking for a flaxseed gel and a pure flaxseed gel and not a flaxseed oil gel but i mean a pure flaxseed gel highly recommend getting this gel i mean i would still recommend the um, moisturizer i'll probably give more feedback once i try um this one out because this one well no this one's a little watery too i don't know we'll see after i try that one out then i'll give my final thoughts on the moisturizer and i'll be sure to um do that in my favorite hair care product um video but this right here highly recommend it like i don't know what that sound was sorry y'all could hear that <laughs> but yes i highly recommend this gel and i cannot wait for my hair to dry so i can rock this wash and go tomorrow i'm about to take so many instagram pictures please believe me <laughs> all right y'all so yes yeah, so go ahead and like this video comment down below if you've had if you've tried curl mix and let me know if you've tried curl mix because i've recommended it because i do know that there are a lot of people who have contacted me saying that they bought things from curl mix now they love their products and um they love when i review the curl mix products so i had to shout y'all out for you know supporting the company and don't forget i have a 20 percent off code that i'm going to link down below um and yeah just comment let me know if you like how my hair came out if you want to try if you have already tried or if you plan on trying it and go ahead and hit that subscribe button too while you're at it and once you hit the subscribe button you'll see a little bell pop up and if you want to be notified of whenever i post new videos you can go ahead and hit that bell and you'll be notified by email whenever i post videos so until next time i will see y'all later